Welcome to the best practice. Using performance information proactively in CA application performance management. Meet Mr. Marcel Van Neuert who will share the best practice. Hi, my name is uh, Marcel Van Noort. I work as a, as a services architect as part of the uh, CA organization. And what I really try and, and show you today is, is help you understand how you can actually use the performance information provided by APM to become proactive in, in your IT environment, to, to be proactive as part of your application monitoring. This diagram here illustrates different levels of maturity and how, how metrics are applied to the application monitoring. The vertical axis represents the, the metric detail going from low to high amount of details. Uh, the horizontal axis shows the ability to respond to any issues. So on the left hand side, the reactive way of responding. On the right hand side, the, the, the proactive way of responding. Uh, and it also relates it to the, to the mean time to resolution from a, from a high to a low uh, mean time to resolution. Why do we prefer brewing or lagging stage and not host stage? Let's hear what Marcel has to say. So when you're monitoring your applications with CAAPM, it would be ideal to, uh, to catch the issue, any performance issue that the, the customer has uh, in the brewing stage. Uh, instead of when the problem actually is already impacting end users, like in the host stage. To catch the issues in the, in the brewing stage, the, the stall count is the most important metric you can think of uh, for, your, for monitoring your, your methods and the amount of time it takes you for your methods to be executed. Um, so also ensure that, also always ensure that, that your, when you monitor an application, the store count metric is part of your dashboards and your alerts that you set up for, for CA API. Some of the other metrics that can also help you to be part of identify issues early are concurrency, error count, and instance count. However, what we see in, in, in most organizations, they, they still work in a very reactive way. And most, most organizations actually look at, at specific log files or thread dumps to troubleshoot issues and to identify issues. That's, that's really monitoring after the fact has already occurred. So, so in a reactive way, you, 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 don't, you don't want to be, be um, uh, notified of performance issues when they've already occurred. If you are monitoring your perform application performance issues as part of the lagging stage, the situation is that, that most, of, most of the users are already impacted. Slow response times have, have already been occurring as part of the end user uh, response times. Um, and they might be calling, calling the help desk already. In such cases, you would have set up your, your APM alerts and dashboards to monitor um, the response times and, and the throughput metrics. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Still, a very good way of, of monitoring. Um, opposed to the host stage, the host stage is where people are already impacted and users are already impacted. It's part of part of your, your response time to monitor. The business might have been impacted. And users are already complaining about the, the performance of the application. In this situation, you would have been uh, monitoring log files, for example. You would have right to the message to the, to the log files. Threat dumps, heat dumps, um, and then you can still identify the issue, of course, but users are already impacted. So it's a very reactive way of monitoring. And that's why it's, it's always, always good to ensure that you focus on identifying issues in the brewing stage where they can be resolved with, with minimal impact to the organization. Thank you, Marcel, for sharing the best practice. Please visit CA Education page for more information. We recommend you to take up the course. Designing and Implementing, CAAPM Release, 9.1 Solutions, Bootcamp Level 300. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.